great football games here we played a lot of great teams here there's some the, you know the memories I have are those guys that have just been in the trenches with us and, and you know they, they didn't mind getting down and dirty and it didn't they didn't like to play in the mud and, and that's one thing your kids will miss out on the turf but uh, again our guys that do the wash they'll be so fired up that they don't have to be in a mud in a mud bowl or something like that when it comes to laundry my name is Drew Morrison and I am the QB1 here at Wall High School it feels different I mean kind of Wall's thing. Wall's been known for having the grass field. They've had it forever. So seeing this turf, I mean, it's a little different, but I think it's kind of a, I guess, a cheesy way of saying it, a new beginning for us. And so it's exciting to be out here and we're ready to go. Hey, linebacker, move inside. Linebacker, move inside right there. My name is Houston Guy, and I'm the head coach of the Wallhawks. Back in the past, when we did get a rain and our field was unplayable or unpracticable, you know, we, we spent half our day trying to find a, a, a practice field to get on where we could take our kids to. It was a, you know, a lot of a lot of things had to fall in place for us to move a practice, so this has been uh, been a, a real blessing. Uh, yes, I'm Clayton Wyson, a uh, proud uh, ex of the Wall Hawks, and uh, 42 years later, here I sit. Well, uh, the field right over here used to run east and west. I remember the big propane tank always being there, and uh, of course it was probably 30 yards from the concession stand, which is right over there. The old field, of course, was grass, and it was a it was a good field. It was a good field. Nothing like this. Uh, this would have been a lot of fun to play on. My name is Trey Wysoon. I went to high school at Wall ISD from '98 to 2002. Back in the day, you know, we couldn't ever practice on the game field because we'd tear it up too much. But practicing at the practice field, it always seemed like it was full of stickers and it was just dirt. There wasn't any hardly any grass, especially by the end of the season. And, uh, you know, I didn't get to play on turf till I got to college. It makes you appreciate, you know, what they have nowadays and, you know, how far Wall has come as far as, you know, facilities and stuff like that. My preference, I like playing on natural grass. It was my senior year and we were playing Sonora for the district championship. And that was the year after they won state and it was a knockdown drag out. We ended up beating them, but that was a very fond memory. You know, we were class A back then. And, uh, you know, the, I just remember the battles between, um, you know, uh, the Mason Punchers and Menard, El Dorado. Uh, I've never played on a field like this. I've, I've walked on it, jogged on it, and it feels great compared to AstroTurf and the fields that I played for, played on in the NFL. Now, it's it. It's going to be very fun. It's going to be our first game here on the, on the turf, new turf, and so we're going to we're excited to break it out, have a start a new new beginning on this turf, and so we're excited for it. I don't I don't think it's hard for us to see them put turf in. You know, we're we're changing with the times, and I like to see you know the campus and stuff move forward. Yeah, you know, there, it's going to be a it's going to be one of them deals where all of the players that you know played over there on that old field are going to have a lot of memories, but. Uh, with our strong program and the way it just keeps getting better and better, they're going to make a lot of memories on this one also, and uh, they're going to—they got—they got a lot to be proud of. Everyone does. Hey, 